Have you ever seen a small round sack in the uterus on early transvaginal scan and wondered is this an intrauterine pregnancy or a pseudo decidual sack sometimes called a pseudo gestation sack sign let's decode the pseudo gestational sack sign when differentiating a pseudo decidual sack from a true gestational sack look closely at this location and sonographic features a pseudo decidual sack is centrally located in the endometrial cavity marked by yellow arrow in this scan usually lacks the double ring sign and does not contain a yolk sac or an embryo it's often irregular and may shift shape contents might appear complex due to blood clot or debris raising suspicion for ectopic pregnancy combining these ultrasound features with clinical context and beta hcg levels is essential for accurate diagnosis in contrast a two gestational sac is eccentrically placed within the endometrium and shows an echogenic double decidual sac sign that is two concentric rings surrounding a clear fluid space it often contains a yolk sac and later a fetal fold pseudo decidual sac sign is seen in only 10% of ectopic pregnancy pathophysiologically the pseudo decidual sac forms due to decidual reaction and endometrial shedding from hormonal exposure to hcg but without a true implantation in the endometrial cavity the blood or fluid collection mimics an early sac When you suspect a pseudo decidual sac always look for an adnexal mass of free fluid and correlate with beta hcg levels if the beta hcg level is above the discriminatory zone about 1500 to 2000 ml international units per ml and no intrauterine gestational sac is seen think ectopic pregnancy it is vital not to misinterpret pseudo sac as a sign of normal intrauterine pregnancy Diagnosis always requires careful correlation with beta hcg trends and exclusion of ectopic gestation by expert scan. In the end I will say stay sharp, scan smart and never miss an ectopic. If you want to learn more about role of ultrasound in obstetrics, please read the latest edition of my book Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology 7th edition which has just been released.